नेटवर्क मीडिया एंड हार्डवेयर सेशन फोर एजेंडा ऑफ द सेशन इज बाउंडेड नेटवर्क मीडिया अनबाउंडेड नेटवर्क मीडिया नॉइस नेटवर्क कनेक्टिविटी वायर एंड वायरलेस मीडिया यूटीपी एस टी पी यू एफ सी एंड अदर्स सो इन दिस सेशन इन शॉर्ट वॉट यू लर्न इज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मीडिया यूज for communication for networking overview guided and bounded means wire unguided and unbounded means wireless simple characteristics and quality is determined by medium and the signal for guided the medium is more important for unguided the bandwidth produced by antenna is more important key concerns are data rate and the distance the design factor for these are bandwidth transmission impairments interference and number of receivers bandwidth higher bandwidth gives higher data rate transmission impairments means attenuation interference and number of receivers in the guided media more receivers that means multi point introduce more attenuation noise what is noise in electrical terms it may be defined as any unwanted introduction of energy tending to interface interfere with proper reception and reproduction of transmitted signals noise is mainly of concern in receiving system where it sets a lower limit on the size of signal that can be usually received even when precautions are taken to eliminate noise from faulty connections or that arising from external sources it is found that certain fundamental sources of noise are present within electronic equipment that limit the receiver sensitivity twisted pair cable and applications is the most common medium is used in telephone networks between house and local exchange we call it as subscriber loop within building also to private branch exchange that is pbx and for local area network 10 mbps to 100 mbps speed not very fast but yes for local area it is okay pros and cons it is cheap easy to work with low data range but yes it is for short range unshielded and shielding uh, shielded tp utp and stp unshielded twisted pair that is called utp it's ordinary telephone wire it is cheapest and very easy to install it suffers from external em interference then we also have shielded twisted pair that is stp it metal braid for shielding that is a uh, stithing that reduces interference more expensive harder to handle because it's thick and heavy utp categories category 3 category 4 category 5 so category 3 up to 64 megahertz noise grade found in most offices twist length is 7.5 cm to 10 cm then we have category 4 up to 20 megahertz then category 5 up to 100 megahertz commonly pre installed in new office buildings twist length is 0.6 cm to 0.85 cm optical fiber where we have a fiber cable and through light we send the data so this is basically reflective media the angle of incidence where the light falls on this angle and angle of reflection where the light is reflected back 
if you look at from this perspective it is core in the center then cladding then we have jacket the glass or plastic core laser or light emitting diode which sends the signal specially designed jackets and small size and weight light at less than critical angle is absorbed in jacket and then it is reflected and it will travel to the end point to the destination that's how optical fiber is made up of benefits of optical fiber greater capacity data rates are of hundreds of gbs per second gbps gigabits per second smaller size and weight lower attenuation electromagnetic isolation and greater repeater spacing tens of kilometer at least optical fiber applications in fact we are using optical fiber only now geo fiber is quite popular in all metro cities we have started using it we have been using for past two years long haul trunks metropolitan trunks rural exchange trunks and subscriber loops and lands we use fiber everywhere now transmission characteristics of optical fiber act as waveguide for 1014 to 1015 hertz portions of uh, infrared and visible spectrum light emitting diode led cheaper wider operating temperature range and last longer then we have injection laser diode ild more efficient and greater data rate and then we use wavelength division multiplexing in this optical fiber these are transmission characteristics for optical fiber these are different mo uh, modes of optical fiber step index graded index and single mode step index is multiple rays multiple beams are transmitted and they are sent at different angles so they received so this is input signal and uh, this is uh, output pulse input pulse and output pulse when you are using that is single index we call it as then we have used graded index input pulse and output pulse and this is a step uh, single mode where single beam is transferred directly uh, same pulse same thing that so we have these three different modes for optical fiber transmission then we also have wireless transmission unguided media transmission and reception via antenna directional and uh, omnidirectional directional means focused beam careful alignment is required omnidirectional is single signal spreads in all directions can be received by many antennas that's what we use in tata sky and these uh, airtel where i mean uh, where we use uh, digital transmission of cable tv or tv channels we use omnidirectional then we have terrestrial microwave parabolic dish focused beam line of sight long haul telecommunications higher frequencies give higher data rates satellite microwave satellite is a relay station where satellite receives on one frequency amplifies the signal and repeat signal and transmit on another frequency it requires geostationary orbit heights of uh, 35 8784 km it's used in television and long distance telephones and private business networks these are microwave uh, i mean satellite microwave that's all for this session that's all about the media thank you